Are you looking for the next craft beer? Well, maybe Sticky Boots by Shorts Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Sticky Boots. This is a Imperial Double IPA by Untapped. 8% ABV, 75 IBUs. Whole bunch of cats and boots walking downstairs. And they're different colored like buildings or whatever. I do have a lot of settlement in the bottom of this one. Um, label really says nothing. Well, it does say uh, a triple dry hop double American India pale ale. Um, no uh, ABV or IBUs on there. Packaged 314.18. So about three weeks old from this taping. There we go. Um, head is more yellow, like a neon yellow color. I'm guessing it's because of what's underneath it. Um, all small bubbles. Uh, about a finger of head bubbles are compacted together like dish soap. If we take a look at the color, very bubbly. Um, I can see through it, but all the hop and protein particles are floating in there. I keep on thinking about this because I did the Waldo one and this one. And um, Outside Ales had a firefly and that's what they were trying to go for, I think, with all the stuff in that. Like these look like fireflies in there like millions of them floating around. Let's go ahead and get a smell. And I was sneezing outside. Some citrus pine in there, not very big. Yeah, I was thinking, if anything, some more malt. Like the citrus is first, then the pine malt is mixed coming in there. I was thinking because it was triple dry hop, like they're saying, that you would get a lot more smell from this. Yeah, pretty good smell though. Let's go ahead and get a drink. Kind of floral, like a floral citrus sweetness in there and then it's like gone. Yeah, I get that little bit of floral up front, then like a, a citrus sweetness, a tiny bit of malt, not very much, smooth, gone. And what did I say the, yeah, 75? To me, there's no bitterness uh, back there. It's just, it goes down, it's gone. I have like some malt, malt taste in my, uh, for the aftertaste. Yeah, not a lot going on there. Um, let's see what they say. Tropical. I okay. I I could see that that like floral, citrus up front. Maybe there's some tropical in there, but not a lot to me. Yeah. It's, if anything, maybe right at the beginning, there's some floral tropical in there. Uh, then it goes back into a little bit of citrus and that sweet malt. Good beer. Okay, floral hops. Okay, that's why. Okay, I thought I was going crazy tasting floral in there and it not saying it, but it did say it at the end. Yeah, pretty, I to me, it is a different beer mixing that floral with tropical and some citrus in there. I would probably have to go 3.75 on this one for me. Um, I actually think there's too much going on in there. I would rather have that floral out and just taste that tropical, that citrus, that sweet malt that's in there. Excuse me. Definitely a beer to try if you haven't had something like this. Um, I don't know how long this one's been out, but 
Yeah, uh, 3.75 out of 5 if we look. And you're not getting any alcohol. They did cover that up pretty well. Eight ratings from my friends, average four out of five. Uh, just over a thousand people have rated this, average 3.95. So I'm a little bit lower, but like I said, I for me and an IPA I or a double IPA, I think there's a little too much going on there. I would like it toned down, you know, bring some. I'm I'm more of a tropical citrus person than anything but yeah definitely a different take on a double ipa they did a very good job of covering that up um jeff gave it a 3.75 mike actually really liked it and gave it a 4.5 so yeah they're all over again uh this is my opinion you should try it for yourself and if you're into double IPAs, IPAs, see what you think about it. So that'll wrap up this review. And until next time, happy brewing.